Hey babes, welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I am Jay. Welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas aka Slay Mask for my base. And in today's video is going to be an episode of Quad M. Now if you're new to my channel or if you forgot, because I know I slacked a little bit, okay? Like I know I had a Quad M episode come out many months ago and I never touched up on Quad M. So Quad M is just a segment on my channel that stands for Manifestation Meditation on Monday Mornings where on Mondays, every Monday, I just drop a video of me motivational speaking, speaking about things like emotional and spiritual health because Monday Monday is the start of the week. We're drained. We don't want to go to these jobs. So, you know, Monday is just a little bit of a pick-me-up to be like, girl, oh boy, keep going. Like, keep doing your thing. We're going to talk about everything on here from manifestation to, you know, just things that have to do with your spiritual health and your mental health. Okay, and um, if you guys seen my winter wardrobe fail video, then you know that I am a little bit under the weather. You know, I kind of sound congested, kind of bubbly in there. So just bear with me throughout this video, okay guys? So without further ado, let's just give it a chat and get right into the video. So in today's Quad M episode, we are going to be talking about gratitude and being grateful. Now, I know some of y'all are probably like, gratitude, like what is that? Like I hear that word often. Or I like, I sometimes hear that word, but you know, like the spiritual thing, uh, being spiritual is like the thing now. So <laughs> no shade, I'm just saying like, you know, it increased out of nowhere. But that's a, very, that's a good thing, I guess. It's a good thing. So gratitude just basically means giving thanks. That's all it is, is giving thanks, being thankful and showing appreciation to things. Like I give gratitude to my mom, I give gratitude to God, I give gratitude to whoever whoever you believe in or whatever you believe in. That's what gratitude is. It's just giving thanks to whatever. It doesn't have to be a higher power. Just I'm I'm grateful for <laughs> the eyelashes that I have. I, I give gratitude to um my paycheck i get gratitude to just that's what gratitude is the reason why i chose this topic for this episode of quad m is because the holidays are coming up you know and i just thought about like what what quad m episode like what quad m topic can fit with the whole vlogmas thing and i thought about gratitude and being grateful because what's the first thing that you know a kid opens something on christmas and the and they don't like it the parents are like you're so ungrateful like, that's the first thought you're so ungrateful right like i said excuse me i'm very congested right now so i want to talk about being grateful because sometimes us as adults we can sometimes be just like those kids on christmas where we're only looking at what we don't have so when we receive something that we don't really like we're being very ungrateful and we're not showing gratitude to the fact that we got something at all and that was me at one point guys i only looked at the things that i didn't have this is something that i was suffering from for years and i want to say around this time of starting youtube and you know getting into the mid-tier influencer thing or even just influencer thing period i was only looking at the things that i didn't have and like <laughs> I needed to stop that. I finally realized that that is not it. Like, you have to show gratitude. You have to give thanks to the things that you do have. Looking at the bad things is not... I'm going to upload this picture here. Um, you guys probably have seen it on social media. It's this picture right here where these two guys are on the bus. And it's, tip, it's actually the same guy, okay? That's the whole purpose of the picture. But anyway, these two guys are on the bus. And as you can see, one is looking at the rocks and one is looking like outside the beautiful nature and mind you they're on the same bus these two guys are on the same bus like basically let's look at the bus as your reality these two guys sitting on the bus are you and the rock wall and the nature outside on the other bus is the things that you have in your life now the guy that's sitting on the side with the rock wall he can easily go on the other side of the bus and look outside to see all the beautiful nature and trees and stuff like that but he chooses to just sit there. He's not like he can't see. There's no window. There's nothing blocking him. He can easily see that the other side has sunshine and trees. Okay? And the guy that's smiling over here can easily see the rock wall. But it's what they're choosing to pay attention to. So, for a while, I was the guy looking at the rock wall. I was looking at what I didn't have. I didn't have a million subscribers. I didn't have a million dollars. I didn't have this. I didn't have that. I only looked at what I didn't have. Mind you guys, while I was looking at 
while I was looking at these things, these are the times that I was receiving my first brand deal. Okay, like my first brand deal was with um, Sheen, and I was super excited. But at the same time, it was like, oh my god, it was like a moment of excitement because I instantly, like I said, I instantly shifted back to that rock wall. I instantly shifted back to looking at things that I didn't have. Like, girl, you should be super excited. Like, this is what you've been waiting for. There was a time when you didn't have this, and then I got monetized. And let me tell you something, I am super grateful. I give gratitude, okay, to the universe for, for me and my monetized channel. That is not an easy thing to get past, okay? So I'm grateful for that. But still, after I got monetized, I was grateful, like I said, for that second. And then I went back and I shifted back over to look at things that I didn't have. And before you know it, the reason why I'm giving you this episode is because before you know it, I had so much. Like, I had so much. Like, as of right now, I have a total of about 90K followers across all social media platforms. But I wasn't paying attention to that. I was only paying attention to what I didn't have. Like before you know it, my following was increasing and the brand deals was just flowing in and it was becoming a regular thing to the point where I wasn't even excited anymore. I was just looking at it like, okay, it's regular now. Okay, you wanna do a promo with me? You wanna do a send me a product to um, test out and tell my followers about and stuff like that? It was like regular. And I had to look at it at the time like, girl, you did not have that at a time. Like stop looking at this rock wall and suddenly look at the abundance of things that you have. Like look at the things that you have to be grateful and give gratitude towards and I know a lot of you are probably thinking like I don't even have that much to give be grateful for and gratitude I've got this going on in my life and I got that baby trust me when I say you do you do you very much do have a lot to be grateful for so during the pandemic like during the first um <clears throat> I'm super nasal. <laughs> I'm super congested so during the first few months of the pandemic I was not playing any games I wanted to I wanted to do so much shadow work and I wanted to like shift my reality. So I used to do a morning meditation. It was a guided meditation. I'm going to link the meditation down in the description box. It was a guided meditation and it was one for gratitude to be grateful. And um, it was a 21 day meditation. So you know what you basically do is you listen to the meditation for 21 days and it's supposed to shift your reality because 21 days is a, we'll get into that into another quantum episode. But yeah, I listened to it and I thought I was going to say like, oh, I'm grateful for the roof over my head. I'm grateful for, you know, the things that we like. Like, I'm grateful for the money and the cars and the clothes and I'm grateful for this and that and that. And those are things to be grateful for also. But when I really started to understand gratitude and gratefulness when I listened to this meditation. In this meditation, she's just talking about the simplest things, y'all. I'm mean, She's talking about the simplest things. She's like... Thank you for the trees. Thank you for the water. Thank you for the air. Thank you for the eyelashes on my face. She didn't just literally say that about to say it like, thank you for my fingers. Thank you for my toes. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for thank you for the shower that I had in the morning. Thank you for it, it was the simplest thing and it made me feel like I mean, I, I had a epiphany, like I had an awakening stage where it's like, oh my god, I have so much. Like she's totally right like thank you for the trees like i would have never thought if i was like doing my own gratitude um if i was like creating my own gratitude meditation back then i would have never thought to say thank you for the trees we need the trees like everything and that's another quad episode i'll talk about how everything is all connected okay like we need to be grateful for everything and everyone yes everyone and it's all connected i'm gonna get into that in another episode but anyway she's just speaking about these simplest things thank you for my fingernails you know thank you for my smile like things that we won't even think to be grateful for and that's when i realized i am an abundant person abundance is also going to be another quad episode i was like i am so abundant like i am so rich and when i said rich of course i meant wealthy wise but also abundance is like the amount of things that you have like i was just i had so much to be grateful for and i never even realized that so, you know, listening to this meditation, it really did shift my reality because I started to look at things from a more positive perspective. I started to shift my way towards that side of the bus that has the grass and the sunshine in it instead of looking at that rock wall because the rock wall is always going to be there. You're going to have something that you're going to be like, uh, but why, why pay attention to it? It's just like I tell my followers, I tell my followers all the time, like I always have trolls on TikTok and they come in and they say the nastiest things. Or it's always just some hating, you know what? And they come in and they say like the shadiest things. Or they try to, because baby, you can't talk about me. They say the shadiest things, and I tell my followers, 
I don't pay them any mind because for every 20 of y'all that are showing me love in these comments, I have about two trolls. So I could easily respond to every 20 of y'all comments that are like, oh my God, we love you. You're so beautiful. You're so pretty. I say the most amazing things to me. So why would I give my energy to these two trolls when I have so, I'm so abundant in having y'all? I have so much positivity right here. Why would I give them my time and my energy? No. <laughs> it's not happening. They can stay there or they can, I can leave their comment, but to get a reply from me, it's not happening. It's not. Like, I have so much positive things to focus on. And also, when you give gratitude, whatever, I don't want to, like, I don't really like to get into, like, religion or spiritual beliefs, but when you give gratitude, whatever higher source or higher power that you believe in is going to give you more. Okay? It's going to give you more. I promise you, whether that's God, the universe, whatever you believe in, when you show gratitude to the things that you have, the little, it's, it's, it, has, it could be the littlest things like we're grateful for, the littlest things we're grateful for, when you show gratitude, when you wake up every day and you show gratitude to the things that you have, you're going to start to receive a lot more things. You're going to start to receive a lot more things than you already have because you're already grateful for the small amount. So you think the small amount that you have, that high vibe is going to be like, you know what, let me just, it's going to be automatic. It's like I said, everything is energy. It's going to be automatic. It's going to come to you. Do not focus on, do not worry about the things that you don't have. And I used to be my problem. I used to just worry about things that I don't have. And I didn't even realize how abundant I was and how much I had to be grateful for. I could be grateful for this, that, and the third. Why am I focusing on the things that I don't have? A lot of the things that we have to be grateful for are overlooked. For example, right now I'm congested, right? But... You ever had a stuffy nose, like a real stuffy nose? I'm talking about stuffy, stuffy. Like, I'm kind of stuffy. I'm talking about stuffy to the point where <laughs> I'm real stuffy. You see what I just did there? I gotta like get the air in there. But I'm talking about stuffy, stuffy to the point where it's like, uh, I cannot breathe, and all I want to do is breathe right now. Or like, I have asthma, and you ever had an asthma attack? Like, if you have asthma, that is the one of the worst feelings. The only thing you want to do in that very moment is breathe. So, like, be thankful that you're breathing. You understand what I'm saying? Because when you have an asthma attack and then, like, when you finally go and you treat it, that breath feels like everything. You feel so abundant in that moment. You feel like you have everything. You're like... Oh, I can breathe. Like, it feels amazing. And that's how you should feel about everything and be abundant about everything. And be grateful about everything. Like, you literally feel like you have everything in that moment. Like, I know a lot of people like, oh, like, if I'm having an asthma attack, listen, I can have $5 in my bank account. I would feel so grateful and abundant in that moment because all I wanted right then and there was to breathe. I'm so grateful to breathe. A lot of these things that we overlook, like breathing, it's automatic. We don't even think about it we, we don't even think about breathing like what is the last time that you were grateful that you were breathing and i'm not talking about i know people post on facebook like oh thank god i woke up this morning which is also gratitude that's being grateful but just the fact that you can inhale and exhale there are actual people that can't do that on their own right now and i really really i really had to like force myself to make this video because one thing that um I love Tabitha Brown, by the way. I love her so much. Like, I love Tabitha Brown. Um, one thing that she said, um, y'all know that when she gave um, Wendy Williams a little read, and she gave it to her in the most graceful way possible, period. I love Auntie Tabby. But um, one thing that really stuck with me was when she said, she said something, and I'm not going to quote it, but she said something along the lines of, if you have, like, something that you want to do in your life, and God gives you that time to do it. Like it was like she felt it. Like it, and I felt it through the screen. It was like I am in that moment. I just realized how I'm lost for words right now because I can't even explain the feeling that I had. Because when this pandemic hit, is when I really should have pushed. You know, for my channel and everything. And I did. Don't get me wrong. I I don't went through hell and back with with this. Okay, but. 
something that she said doesn't mean feel like you know what I gotta go harder and stop making all these little excuses so even though I am nasaled and congested up here I was like God has given me this time and I'm grateful I'm giving gratitude God has given me this time to get up here okay get in front of this camera God has given me this free time the universe has given me this free time and this is I'm so abundant with having time let me get up here and do what I came to do okay like I am so grateful for something as simple as time to have time mind you when I was in my 9 to 5 I was like oh my god I just wish I had the time I wish I had the time I'll be so grateful if I had the time I had the time and then I got the time, and don't get me wrong, I was pushing. I was working hard, and I was, like, still trying to figure things out. So I won't really say that I should have, would have, could have, because, you know, everything happens for a reason. But now I know that time cannot be wasted. Time is a precious thing, and a lot of people don't have it. So that's what I'm most grateful for, and I give gratitude, is my time that I have to perfect my craft. I'm so grateful that I can get up every day, and every day I have the opportunity to perfect my craft so that's what I'm really grateful for and I want to throw something in there that it wasn't a part of my my gratitude episode however it still will late so um you guys know that right now is vlogmas time and recording back to back to back to back is what we need to get done sometimes even record two videos in a day and something had happened with a pair of my color contacts I'm going to insert pictures right here and this is literally from yesterday um no these are right now while I'm filming this yesterday but for you guys this is literally two days ago guys um I had put a clear contacts in my eye and they were dirty and I should know better because I've been wearing contacts for many years they were dirty and I had put them in my eyes and I didn't take them out I was actually supposed to film these videos on this day and I just couldn't see because you guys know I had the lighting in front of me I just couldn't see and I guess that was a bad combination of dirt and the light so I had took them out after about an hour over to have them in my eye I took them out my eye and my vision was blurry and I had never had that happen like I said I've been wearing contacts for many years I never had that happen to me so I was like okay I was like nervous and like panicking and I'm like okay let me just because I like to go to emergency room for every little thing because it's just like I just feel like if your arm is not chopped off they don't really take you serious especially something like oh I can't see my eyes are hurting if you if it's something like you can't breathe or your arm is chopped or whatever, then they take you serious. If something like oh I got a pain in my eye, like they gonna they gonna be sitting there all day, which did happen to me. But let me get back. So I took it out, went to bed. I was like okay when I wake up, you know my vision will be fine or whatever. And so I was able to see clear. However, there was like I don't know how something had gotten in my eye. Like I don't know if something was in my eye. Or it was a scratch. I don't know how it would be a scratch because I took out the contacts. Like I don't know what was in my eye, but something was. And I'm I have a testimony, y'all. I swear this is like this was an awakening for me in a spiritual way. But that's the story for another time. But something was not allowing me to see. I couldn't see, guys. Like my vision was gone. I was panicking, crying. I did speak to my family members, however, I didn't really tell them what was going on because I didn't want them to panic. Like, and I know, and I only even got supposed to them because I know how to maneuver through my phone. I could see a little bit. I know how to maneuver through my phone, um, you know, from muscle memory. So that's how I was able to to contact people. But I couldn't see, and I was just panicking. I was screaming. I was crying. I felt like there was something in my eye. Long story short, I did go to the doctor. That yellow stuff that you see in my eye, that was like some, some medicine they put to like see if there was a scratch in my eye. Long story short, I had never had this happen to me. This was crazy. It didn't even seem realistic because it's like, what could be bothering my eye for like 48 hours? There was nothing inside of it. There was no scratch. It was just a very weird situation, which is why I'm saying like, I know that this is a testimony. And when I, when I get it together, y'all, I'm going to finally tell y'all, but I just know that something big is manifesting for me right now long story short in that moment like I I had wasted time I could have filled these videos I could have filled it's very hard for me to film right now guys because I'm so congested and I could have filmed these videos days ago however I was like waste a little bit of time and then when my vision went bad it was like I can't film and, it, and not only did my vision went, go bad guys I was in so much pain like I was in pain it, it felt like there was something stuck in my eye and there was nothing like, and all I wanted in that moment, long story short, all I wanted in that moment was to see something that was to blink. I couldn't even blink. Something that we overlook all the time. 
I don't even think it was a time I ever woke up and said, oh, thank God I can see. Like, I'm so grateful. I give gratitude that I can see my vision that I can blink. But in that moment when you don't have it is when you realize, oh my gosh, all I want in this moment right now is to see, is to blink. God, please. I was literally crying out like, please take whatever's on my eye out of my eye. And I know that's what happened, but in a spiritual way, like, uh, I know it sounds crazy, but I got to get into that's the story for on the video, but my vision was changed basically so I was like I, I was literally crying screaming praying like I'm like I need to get whatever my eye out of my eyes I could not see out of both of my eyes I couldn't see anything I'm literally in the house by myself and all you guys are thinking why didn't you go to the doctor because they were gonna do what I did for myself like unless it's a doctor an air and eye doctor and not a hospital they were gonna do what I did what I did was I kept flushing out my eye and the flushing wasn't working eventually I woke up the next morning um, you know, whatever was was in my eye, was in my eye. It 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 felt like it calmed down a little bit, and um, it was just very dry. Like my eyes were very dry, like extremely dry. The where they were burning. So I did go to the hospital. Um, they said they didn't see anything, but I should still go see an eye doctor, or whatever. But long story short, all I wanted was my vision, and now that I have it, I give so much gratitude to the smallest things like having my vision. Like, don't overlook anything. I want you to look around yourself right now and look at the things that you have. You have a lot. I promise you, even if you're going through the most biggest struggle in your life, I promise you, you have a lot. You have a lot to be thankful for, whether that's your children. Like, I know a lot of people are like, yo, if it wasn't for my child, I couldn't even keep going. Like, be grateful for that child that you have. You have something to be grateful for. We both have We both have the good and the bad. We all have it. It's just, like I said, what side of that bus are you choosing to look at? And I'm not saying to ignore the things like the rock wall. Of course, you want to fix those things. However, don't let that overpower the things that you have to be grateful for. You have a lot to be grateful for. And I know everybody's thing now is, oh, manifestation. Manifestation, manifestation, one on one. That, that's why I named Quad M Quad M because I know y'all y'all like manifestation. Anybody wants to talk about manifestation? Giving gratitude, like I said, can also help with your manifestations because like, manifestation, remember, it's a thing of the mind. And when you focus in on that rock wall, baby, you're 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 blocking your blessings. You're blocking your manifestations from coming coming in in the first place. When you're focusing on that side of the bus with the sun and the trees and you're giving gratitude like often, your manifestations are going to come flying in due to the fact that there's nothing blocking it. You're not focused on the negativity. You're not manifesting the negative. You understand? That's exactly what that guy on the bus was doing. He was meant, all you had to do was shift his mindset. Shift his mindset meaning shift his seat on the bus and he could have been smiling just like the other guy. It is that simple. I promise you it's that simple. I don't know why people try to make manifestation out to be so hard. It's not hard. It's not a 30-day course that you got to pay for. It's not that. It's literally just to shift your mindset. Shift your mindset into gratitude. Shift your energy into gratitude. Be grateful. Be thankful. You know what? I'm not here and not yet. But I don't have time to think about what I don't have yet. You know what? Let me focus on what I do have. And focus on how I'm getting there. And that's it. Right now, I have this, that, and the third. Because guess what? There was one time where I didn't have this, that, and the third. So I'm so grateful. Not only that, there's people out there that don't have this, that, and the third. So I am grateful. I am grateful. I give gratitude. I give thanks to the universe. I give gratitude. I give thanks to God. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for this beautiful life. That is something that I like to say. I did hear that in a video. I don't remember, but... I say that almost every morning. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for this beautiful life. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for the beautiful life. That's something that I repeat over and over again. And I also give gratitude to other things that I have because I'm so abundant. I'm so grateful for the amount of abundance that I have. Okay? Before you wake up this Monday morning and you like, uh, I don't want to do this and I don't want to do that and I'm so tired of this and I'm so tired of that. Before you even, like, that's another thing. Don't wake up in the morning and put those things in your mind immediately. Okay, your morning is when like your mind is in this state where it's just manifested. I swear. So when you start your day off like, uh, I don't want to do that, I want to do that. Your whole entire day and week and everything is just gonna be just like that. Start it off with gratitude and the things that you're grateful for. I promise you, like I would not promise you if I knew for that this didn't work. You will literally change your reality. Okay, it will shift. And when you shift into gratitude, you are gonna began to get so much abundance i promise you okay i'm speaking from experience i promise you so shift your energy 
into an energy of gratitude and right now i'm just gonna be grateful <laughs> okay i'm gonna have gratitude that i can talk to you guys even though i am like congested in nasal i'm still grateful that i'm able to see that i can get on this camera and talk to you guys all right and i'm also grateful for y'all i give gratitude and i give thanks to y'all because y'all don't have to watch my videos what y'all do so thank you okay <laughs> so that is it for this episode of quad amp you guys like i always say don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every single time that i upload also make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on instagram at j.pierre and on tiktok at j.pierre underscore if for some reason you don't have tiktok or instagram i'm going to leave a list right here on the screen on each social media platform that i have make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on each one that you have and i will check you guys in my next video okay bye